wear it. I bought a $900 ring, amethyst, seven points, and it disappeared on me at work. I just put it on my desk for a minute, disappeared. Through channeling information, it was told to me that there is an entity in the stone that was trying to enter my body at night, and I never wore the stone. I never wore the ring. I had it in the box from the day I bought it, in a case, in a drawer. But it said, when the stone will be cleansed, it will come back to you. And sure enough, although I changed my dresser, I bought a new dresser set, one day I went in there and uh, there was this little jewelry box, and I thought, gee, I thought I'd throw all my old jewelry, little jewelry boxes out. In fact, I almost threw it in the, in the garbage, and for some reason I opened it up and there was my ring back. Lost it at work back in my drawer six months later. Same Ask for protection. It will, you'll be protected. Never take it for granted, anybody's gift. Especially when it comes to stones, make sure it is right for you, for your org field. Let's go back to, let's go just jump over here to the crop circles. Now, if you have groups that you have come in, now the workbooks, the workbooks can be used to teach radionics. There's a lot of information you can use for groups in general. You don't have to get into radionics at all. And one of them is these crop circles. Okay? You can make copies of them, have your group sit in a circle, have them pick one out of whether it's blindly out of out of a pile and let you know, sit and all meditate and they each will get a message just for them and it was absolutely gorgeous okay those crop circles are done for two different reasons one mother earth has her own chakras and what they're doing is like acupuncture they're actually it's like acupuncture for the for the chakras and one of the reasons there's so many in England is that there's so many holes in England. Dimensional holes, absolutely dimensional holes. And it's like a waffle iron there. And because of these dimensional holes, they're able to come through with these so many more than they are around the world. But also, what it is, is they're aligning the different people saying, uh, we are here. Do you remember who you, you aligned with? And then the bad guys put two next to them, saying, to confuse you. So be careful which ones you use for meditation. You always, you will only be attracted to the ones that will, will do good for you and, and give you good messages. Let's go to page 74, Sleep Like a Baby. Can't sleep at night? Okay, women always sleep with their head facing south. In other words, they're looking north. Their nose is looking north, the top of their head is south, and the men sleep in the opposite direction. And that's your magnetic pull, pull, for each, the male and the female, because negative and positive. That makes for a happy bedroom. Makes for a happy bedroom. Feet, 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 feet. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, you get a good night's sleep. Good night's sleep. Okay. The men sleep with their head Okay, we'll go to the women. The women sleep with their noses facing the north, back of the head facing south, and the men the opposite direction. You can put a, uh, you can put uh, copper wiring around the bottom of your bed to um, neutralize the energy coming in, to ground the house, to ground your bed. Because remember, the energy is coming up at night, so that will ground your bed. And you'll find, too, is if you put copper around your plants in the winter, they won't um, get frostbite. The copper will neutralize the energy around them. At night, if you had a real hard day, you all saw Cocoon, the movie Cocoon? Well, what you do at night, you, this is if you've had a real busy day and you really want to get a good night's sleep. You know you all astral travel in your work at night, and you all go to work at night. We're working 24 hours a day. So 
so you wake up lately, I bet you just all feel absolutely exhausted lately. I bet you just feel dead and dragging. Because you're up and working at night. You're doing double duty, triple duty. You're working on, on the astral planes. You're working in other dimensions. If you find that you absolutely do not want to be disturbed in the night, you want a good night's sleep, what you do is you take your silver cord that we talked about. Remember how big it is? It's this big. You wrap your silver cord around you, and this a, is a universal thing. When you have your silver cord wrapped around you, it tells the universe, I'm rejuvenating my body tonight. Do not disturb. I am not going out of my body tonight. I am not doing my other jobs. I'm staying in. That is a universal thing. And when you wrap yourself in your silver cord, no one disturbs you. But remember to take it off when you wake up in the morning. Remember to take it off. And it's interesting, the first time I ever did it, my cats went to jump on me and they jumped off. And they walked out of the room. They didn't sleep with me that night. That tells the universe and all those around you, I'm rejuvenating, rejuvenating all my bodies, my astral, my mental, my physical, my spiritual. Do not disturb. And that's where you stay the night. And when you wake up in the morning, you feel very, very good. Let's go to color therapy. Now, just one more thing I want to talk about these rays. I'm not going in depth in these rays, but you'll see they're very powerful. Use your discretion in using them. Use them for the world. Use them for whatever the need is. But they're very, very powerful. Let's go to color therapy. And that is page, oh, well, first of all, let's go to page 21. Mother of Pearl, down at page 21, uh, you can buy natural Mother of Pearl. I make all my own jewelry. I make sure that it's cleansed. And uh, I, when sometimes when I'm out on the road, I'll also put it on the table for purchase. But no, I did not bring any this time. You can get natural mother of pearl. You can buy the beads and make your own strings. Children should wear them, natural mother of pearl, to bed at night. And also humans should wear it to bed at night. What it does, it heals the emotional body as you're sleeping. If the mother cradles the child while she's sleeping, natural mother of pearl, it's a brown pearl. Natural mother of pearl is brown. But children, little children should all have a little natural mother of pearl necklace around their, their neck. It heals them of all the hurts that came during the day. Mother yelled at you, father yelled at you, school yelled at you. We've had a lot of little hurts during the day. It heals it while you sleep. The mother will actually cradle the child while it sleeps. Mother of pearl, natural mother of pearl, not polished. Natural mother of pearl. It, it's, it looks, I don't mean, it's polished, but I mean when natural, it's not dyed or bleached. But it is polished. Polished is all right. I should have brought some, but I did not. Let's go to color therapy. Let's see. Let's go in the back index. How much time do we have left? Um, about, we have about, well, about 14 minutes Four. before we need to take about a five minute break. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, go to color therapy. 22. 22. Did you know that Washington, the state of Washington, has most those suicides in all of the United States? Anybody know why? You're right. No sun. Too much rain. Biggest suicide state is uh, the state of Washington. No sun. The next state is Ohio. No sun. Too much rain, uh, too many clouds. The least state for suicide, Arizona, has the most sun in the state. Next state is Florida, least suicides. What does that tell you about the auric field? Need sun. Okay. If you don't have sun, what is the next best?